I am Ron Fowler, Flower Clown. I am actually getting ready to leave for Florida. In just over a week, I will be heading down to Disney and Universal for a family vacation. And one day after family vacation is finished, I'm off to Twist and Shout. And on the way down, I will be stopping in Charlotte, North Carolina for a balloon jam. I'll be hosting a balloon jam, possibly a lecture, but I'm thinking about not doing the lecture just because I've got too much stuff going on right now. Um, and I had to kind of ease back on a few things. Um, but I will be down there for Twist and Shout, my first convention, um, first balloon convention, and my first time vending ever, as far as the balloon bags and stuff. Um, but I kind of want to give you a, just a quick little whoop, uh, show you what I got, what I'm bringing down with me. Of course, I've got the classic um, Namaste bag. All my bags are basically hello in other languages because I travel a lot. So this is my monster. This is my my love. I mean, I've been using this bag and working on this bag and updating this bag since started doing this. Probably since like '97. So 97, 98 is when I made my first big bag. And many, many years later, this is what I got. So this is my big Namaste bag. This is the full size. Comes in all black, blue and black, red and black, and red and blue. And this is the, the red and black version. So it's got your pump pockets in that. Everything's spaced out. Um, these are all pockets, so you don't need to do the nozzle ups. But now that both um, Metallitex and Qualitex are doing the nozzle ups, you can literally take the, the bag, rip the top off, and stick it right in the pocket. So it does work, and it works well. So that's the big Nomaste. Then I've got the two-thirds Nomaste. So same exact bag, it's just I took one section out. So the other bag would be about that big. So this one is a little bit smaller. Um, for the people that are not full-time twisters, this would be a really good one for somebody who does a lot of twisting but is not full-time. The big bags are basically for a full-time twister. They do get kind of heavy and they do hold a lot of balloons. So I've got those. Those all have the wire frame and they all zip closed. I did do some um, revisions and some upgrades on some of these. And then I brought back the old classic big bag, but I actually did it out of the same backpack material that those bags are made out of, the Nomaste bags are made out of instead of the cotton. I've been making these for many, many years out of the um, the cotton nylon, or the cotton nylon, and this one is just nylon. So it's another big bag. It can hold a lot of balloons in there. So this is a beautiful bag, a little bit cheaper. It doesn't have the wire frame, so it is just all loose. So those are the big ones. Then we have the Swazdi bag. So the Swazdi bag is the kind that has all the elastic loops. It has the Velcro up here. It's got a spot for tools and pens. Um, it does hang on the back of a cropin style or actually on the back of a chair if need be. And you can put your 260s, you can fill it all full of 260s, or you could do all prints, hearts. Very good for organizing. Um, great little thing for the face painters. If you don't do a lot of balloons, you can keep this off to the side. Nobody knows what it is, and when you open it, it's full of balloons. So that's a great little piece. And then from actually that one, the Swazdi, uh, came up with the Swazdi XL. So a bigger version. This one is dealing with all pockets. So these are all little pockets. All your 260s go in here, and they Velcro to the top. It does go into a triangle. It can go on the back of a cropping style as well. There's videos on all the bags, so I'm just kind of giving you a heads up on some of them. But that's the Swazdi XL. Now, when I do go to Nepal, actually about one week after uh, Twist and Chow's finished, I'm off to Nepal. So I will be taking orders for um, embroidery and custom pieces as well. So if you do need like a panel with that has 12 pockets and you need it a certain size, let me know. Those are things I can take care of over there. So this is the Swazdi XL and this actually has embroidery on it as well. So these are the things you can get embroidered. I'm trying to figure out where I put my jacket. I do have a jacket. I gotta show you the jacket. So I'll have all of those. I did get more of the Velcro elastic roll um, nozzle ups. So these are basically just a, a piece of elastic with uh, Velcro on both sides. So it's basically just that. So it's got the Velcro, the elastic in the middle and Velcro. And once you close it, you still have the soft and the hard Velcro. These are, regardless of what balloon apron you have, these are great for quick refills. You basically just take that, slap it on, and it'll stick because it's Velcro. And then you could take another one and stick it right on there. And these will just keep sticking onto each other. So they could just keep building and building. 
So that's a great little thing, even if you just use that. Um, then I have the little mini balloon bags. Um, so those are those are fairly cheap. I think they're like eight dollars. So and they work great. Very very. If you're just getting out and just getting started in the business and you need something, that is probably the suggestion. Um, I'm also going to bring bringing these to Twist and Shout and to Charlotte, North Carolina. They're flower con coin purses. Um, I am doing fundraising for Katmandu and Nepal on this. So these are $10. The $10 will go directly with me to Nepal when I go there and get handed over to the Lions Club that we um, that we help support and they go around and do relief work and volunteer work for the communities. So that's what we're trying to do for them. And last but not least, my business card. Of course, everything that I have here is um, is tools. Um, I love balloon artist gear. I'm always developing things. I'll be going back overseas again. Like I said, week after Twist and Shout. This is my this is my card. So these are the old balloon feet. So you put those on there. It does have the website in very small text, but for the most part, it is shoes. So I will be kind of selling these in like a pack of 50, fairly cheap. So if you want them for um, just playing with the kids, but then they'll also be available as my business cards as well. And I don't know where I put my jacket, but I will show you my jacket. I'm going to take orders for jackets. Um, also, custom embroidery. If you have basically an embroidered piece, like if you have a crop and style, I did this for Lisa McTwister um, last year. She had the balloon starburst, and she wanted just the embroidery to go on to her crop and style. So I made her just the embroidery. She sewed it on. Everybody loves it. She loves it. So those are the things I'll be taking orders for down there. So I get forms made. And other than that, I'm leaving in about 10 days, 9 days. Today's the first. Ah, I'm leaving in, I'm leaving on the 9th. So, all right. got to get some more things done. Talk to you guys later. Thank you very much. See you in Charlotte or see you in Florida.